Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back and thanks for joining me today. Um, I hope everybody in the US had a great Thanksgiving and a great Thanksgiving long weekend. I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, I guess now it's back to the normal schedule, back to work, back to the grind and back to pouring, right? So uh, tonight I'm going to do a Dutch pour on a wood round. So let me bring you guys down and I'll get started. Alrighty. Is that good? I think that's good. That should be good. All right. So I have a 16 inch MDF wood round. I have taped the back. Okay. And I have also put a coat of gesso to prime the board before I paint on it. If you want to know how I prime it and how I tape the bottom, check out my earlier videos. I believe it's like number 15 and video number 16. There's some videos on how to do that. Okay. So tonight's colors, I am going to be using this turquoise blue by Liquitex Basics. And then I'm going to use metallic purple by Artist Loft, followed by light blue by Artist Loft, and then the green blue by Amsterdam, and silver by Artist Loft. Okay, let me just put those aside and out of the way. Okay, so I'm gonna start by flooding my canvas. So in here is my Artist Loft Acrylic Flow White Paint mixed with Floetrol and some water. And if you wanna know how I mix my paints and my ratios uh, for the white and the colored paints because they're all mixed exactly the same, please check out video number 63, okay? Video number 63 will tell you everything you need to know I'll also link it up here in the top for you guys for easier access. Alrighty, I am going to, oh, there's some blue in there. Look at that. Okay, that was interesting. I wonder where that came from. Maybe it was on the spatula. So anyone who wants to uh, buy this really cool spatula, you can find it in my Amazon shop. It is listed in the links below in the description box. So you can find that this thing is awesome because it spreads the paint so easily and evenly. I love this thing. And if you do go on the Amazon shop, uh, it's the large size spatula, not the um, small or mini spatula. It's the large because a lot of people have been asking me that. All right. So I'm just going to make sure my edges are covered. Alrighty, this side's good. Well, we didn't have Thanksgiving here in Canada. We uh, celebrate our Thanksgiving in October. Uh, we did put up our Christmas tree this past, no, not this weekend, the last weekend. And uh, we were worried about what Juno would do to it uh, and so far knock on wood this isn't wood but I'm gonna knock anyway uh, he hasn't done anything to the tree it's a fake tree we used to get a real tree but luckily we don't have one right now or else he'd probably try and pull the branches right off of it ah <laughs> that wouldn't be fun okay so I am going to start with the turquoise blue don't you just love these low leaf effie bottles I love these so these are awesome squeeze bottles you all know my regular squeeze bottles. These are really awesome too. Um, I get these off Amazon. Um, they do have the cap on them, which can be a pain in the butt, I will admit, but they still are great bottles. But I love these bottles because they're just twist caps. So these are very convenient. I just mixed my paint earlier today. So there is some Floetrol in the tip. All right. I haven't used this color yet, brand new color. So it still has some Floetrol in the tip from when I shook it. Okay, so these are really cool because you just twist the top and then you twist it to close it and then there's no fuss 
no muss, no mess, none of that. All right, so um, I think I'm going to continue with my squiggly lines, but I'm going to kind of try it a little different here. I'm going to kind of do something like this. I know I always drew some really straight type lines, but let's, uh, here's some more Floetrol in this. All right. Let's try something different, right? If you saw my abstract piece, uh, <laughs> that was different. Never done anything like that before. Um, I do like the way it turned out. Uh, a lot of people commented that the white lines were a little too white. Uh, I do agree. Uh, I probably could have, you know, painted them or done something with them. And I still might. Like, I mean, I can still change it up. It's doesn't mean it's necessarily done, right? But I'll definitely try another one and I will switch it up and try something different. So we'll see what I come up with. Oh, there's some goop in my bottle and it's not squirting properly. There we go. Okay. And last but not least, the silver which has some flow trial. There we go. Now I literally, other than the green blue, I just mixed these paints in these low leave Effie bottles. Um, typically I like to wait a day at least, um, before I use the paints, but you know me, I have no patience and I wanted to paint and I wanted to use these colors in the new low leave Effie bottles. So, I didn't wait at all. Uh, I probably mixed them about an hour ago. So if you can wait a little longer, you probably should. It just gives the paint time to settle and mix in properly. At least that's what I think. Okay, flooded that part. I am going, nope, oh, fluff. Gonna pop the bubbles. Okay. And let's uh, blow it over. All right, so that's been blown over. Start in the middle one way and the other. So I think what I'll do, because it's not my normal straight line, um, it peaks here and here, so I'm gonna blow it the opposite way, I think. Well, I'll try, you never know what the blow dryer is gonna do, right? So let's go. Uh, let's go. <laughs> Where do I blow first? Let's go here. All right, wow. Well, that turned out really neat, but this side, not so much. Uh, a lot of white, too much white here for my liking. This is, oh my gosh, this is perfect. Um, see, I love silver as a color, but it, it just kind of disappears, unlike my copper or the antique copper where it's really bold and you can really see it. You can't really see the silver very much. Um, all right, so what do I want to do? Uh, I'm going to try. Normally, I'll, I'd blow with my mouth, um, but I want to try with the hair dryer for a change and see if there's a lot of paint in here just to blow it here. I, I like this part. I like all this, but I don't want to use my mouth because it leaves those lines. See if I can do it with the hair dryer. I may ruin this and that's really going to suck, but let's try it anyway. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. This turned out so awesome. It's like this side's perfect and this side's now crap. So when I'm not happy, it she did goes bye bye like so and like so huh, look at the blue line all right uh, I'm gonna leave that for now and so what we're gonna do is get rid of that reflood okay See, when you don't like something, don't be afraid uh, to scrape it. You don't have to scrape the whole thing. Um, just scrape the parts you don't like and then try it again. And if after you've tried it again, you still don't like it, okay, then scrape the whole thing. But if there's a part you really like, why risk ruining that part when all you got to do is try and fix the part you don't like, right? So let's start with that at least. All right. Let me just torch the white in here. Uh, okay, so... Let's try that again. I don't know how this is gonna work out. Um, Cause it's gonna be hard to blow that part. Um, I started with the blue, not that it matters, but. Okay. It should be interesting, that's for sure. and silver okay uh let me flood actually there might be a lot of white paint already on here because i did yeah there's definitely a lot of white paint there so you know what i'm not gonna flood anymore i'm gonna pop the bubbles let me see oh yeah always do that I seriously have got to stop wearing my necklace or at least tuck it in to my shirt I swear one of these days I'm gonna ruin this cross this is my cross from when I was baptized and it was given to me by my godparents okay. that's better Yeah, there's definitely a lot of white on here. So I can blow it with my mouth and not ruin it by using the hair dryer for this part. Because there's definitely a lot of white on here. This part looks so neat. Like, look at that, that's awesome. Now let's just hope I can do the same thing. Someone really is trying to get a hold of me. All right. Um, all right. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Oh, no, nope, this way. <laughs> well, that's different. So actually that's pretty neat. Now I kind of like this side more and I can really see the silver in here. Now I just gotta fix this and then I'm not gonna touch the rest. So I'm going to, this is actually kind of neat. I'm really liking the colors too. Okay, and now to kind of mix it, I'm gonna blow back. 
this way. There. Actually, it's kind of it's kind of cool. Wow, what a difference. So this side ended up with some really dark blue and this side ended up with like a lighter blue. How cool is this? I kind of like it. Actually, I really like it. Let's see. Let me put my lid back on here. And take care of my edges. And then I'll bring you guys down for a close-up. If I can get my lid on. There we go. All right. So I've got my edges going. I think that looks okay over there. Perfect. So I'm not even going to torch it because there's um, a lot of cells going on already in here. So I'm just going to leave it. I could see color hiding under there. So now there's some blue there, which is nice. Okay, let me bring you guys down for a close up and so you guys can see what I'm looking at here. All right. So here is redone section number two. Now you can really see the silver in there and the light purple, which is really the dioxazine purple. No, the metallic, that's right, I didn't use dioxazine. And then here is the first part, which is kind of neat. I'm really liking this petal right here. So let me know what you guys think about this one. And don't forget to subscribe, guys, I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you are notified every time I post a new video. Um, like I said, check out all my links in the description below. Uh, social media links, the Amazon links where you can buy all the squeeze bottles or the spatula torches, all that stuff. My PayPal link for anyone who would like to donate. Um, any donation is always greatly appreciated because it helps me buy supplies to continue doing these tutorials for you guys. Um, that's it. Don't forget to head on over and check out Juno's YouTube channel. Um, new videos are being posted all the time. So check them out there. Again, his link is in the description below. Uh, that's it for now, I think. Have a good night or a good day, everybody. I'll be back and we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like it. And if anyone really likes it and you want it, don't forget to email me before it goes up on Etsy. So if you want it, shoot me an email and you can have it before it even gets posted. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye.